corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Hello everyone and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Or, or Deepest Dark? Whatever. So today I'm exploring the world and I just noticed that I forgot to put trinkets on my units. So that kind of sucks. And I didn't go with the Necromancer Apprentice this time. Because I want... Let's see, what do I want? I don't want to fight him right now, because I want higher level characters before I do. And I chose this mission, because it's a medium mi mission, and the Necromancer, and such is also medium missions. And I thought that it would be good to try these types of missions before, doing a boss fight. Hopefully that makes sense. And it would be good if I could push this guy forward, or pull him for forward, good. Should probably heal, okay, you can only have a party heal. To use it. And then smite. Him. No, dodged, damn it. Slice and dice. This is a crappy fight. It goes very bad. That's oh crit! I didn't mean to do that. I want to just pull him forward and see if they can attack from positions in front. Stun him, good. Oh, I should have attacked the other one. But let's heal. Good too. Two health for everyone. Good that that attack missed, and now I can... Go for a kill here, maybe? Or try and attack him at least. It won't kill him, but... It will at least hit him. Go for this attack, maybe? Or should I go for a finish him? Six to nine. 69, so it doesn't matter really. Let's go for this one. 9 damage. 5. And moved, okay. Good to know that they have a move like that. Do I have any AoE? Okay, I know the Plague Doctor has it, so that's good. So I could use Holy Lance here on him, and deal a lot of damage, then use an AoE on those two in front to kill them. One of them is already dead, so I should probably attack the one in behind. Two and five, that's not enough to kill him this turn. But this might be enough to kill him, hmm. Can't attack that person. Damn it. Let's go for for a self-heal. It should heal you for free. So one. And stress relief, that's good. And dodge! Really good here. And I think we should be dead. Free? Yeah, we're dead. So let's move here. And I can heal a little bit, maybe. Perhaps the turning point. One health to him, because he has the least amount of health right now. Heal everyone! Great job, Vestal! The bigger the beast, and we didn't get to the, the, greater the glory. thing here. We have pretty much food. We have like 20 food or something. I didn't know how much I would should brought. Should brought should, should bring. As the light gains purchase, Let's use one of these, and, and hopefully find some clear. good. Oh, onyx and some crests. We can definitely use that. And here we have a lot of cultists, and we're surprised. This is some good news for me. Use this attack to have a higher crit chance, and I should remember that. 
I usually don't look at crit because in the beginning your shunt crit is really low. Let's go for this and they dodged. Damn it. Hate when crap like that happens. Stun the healthy guy. And he resisted. And go for the kill. Good. Give them no Only three breath. left. And of course, they attack the one with less, the least amount of health. But it is Eldritch Push. So that's kind of nice. Because Eldritch Push is kind of a sucky attack. And he's bleeding. Let's cure that bleed. Nice work. Go for a smite on him. Should, should I go for damage or sh Probably go for damage. I think that's a good choice. Hmm. If I don't heal with a Vestal, I could kill the Cultist. So then I could attack one of these with the Bounty Hunter. Let's go for that. And you missed, of course you miss. Self heal or stun. Same accuracy. And you only need to deal one damage, so let's increase the torchlight. Because I think you have full health, right? Yes, you do. And stress. 15, and it reduces light as well. Hopefully, we'll get a crit here and she will die, but we didn't. Four health left, and we might be able to kill her. This attack isn't enough. If the damage would have been in a other way, she would have died. A bit of bad luck with the RNG, but that happens sometimes. She's dead, and that person can be killed pretty soon. She might be dead now. Yes, she is. Go for a heal. And we should... Might be able to get in one or heal more now. That's a shame. I wanted to get one more heal. Let's go this way. This is a weird room layout. Flee. Good. A wise general cuts losses and regroups. I think that is a very good escape. I definitely don't like when my people are in the wrong spots. And now I might actually surprise the enemy. Or at least not be surprised. And I surprised them. Great! A really good escape. And I should try to kill one of these guys. I only have 10 health, and I can actually deal it. And I missed! I missed like a pro! I can blight them. Can blight her, I can stun. Let's go for a stun. I know it shuffles the group, but I don't think it matters right now. Could I stun one of these? Stun chance is pretty darn low. Let's go for a party wide heal, and heal for 6. Good job, Vestal! Go for a kill here, smite the bastard, Executed and you succeeded, security. great job. Stun? No, that's very low. Use this attack and blight her. And there's just a bonus to hitting that evil looking thing. Can I kill it? Probably not. No, definitely not. Or, yeah, definitely not. Go for the heal. And six heal again. Great job. Vestal. Let's go for an attack. Probably finish him or collect bounty. A collect bounty it is. Great. This fight's going a lot better. Ten damage. This Two busts. At least promises success. Use some herbal medicine here. And we should get a lot of food. I got hiccups. No. Hopefully it will end soon, or not really start. Because I think it's really annoying when you got hiccups, I think it's called. I don't know. Really. And we need to explore one more room here. And then we can backtrack and never go here again. Good heirlooms. Eat. I got a bit of food, so I can eat. And it heals us, so that's really good. And nothing is here. 
I walked all this way for nothing. I thought I maybe would get a scout or something and I should use a torch here. Used and we got one more inventory space, that's great. Let's keep on walking. I think I will go into the room with the necklace and then down and then right. Then left and then up and then down. If I don't get any scouting that is. I don't want to be here longer than necessary. So if I see I can skip some rooms I will do it. I haven't had the chance to use my shovels yet. That's good and bad. I think you can use a shovel here. I think I brought three, so let's use one. Wealth oh. beyond measure. Awarded to the brave. A bit over a thousand gold. Alike. Not the worst, not the best. And scouting! What do we find? Empty room? Okay, so we can skip that room, that's good. And we can move forward here. And there's a trap, and we know it's where it is, so that's good. I think we could use bandage here. Yes, I was right. I'm really good at remembering which should be where. Um, this person has very bad traits. 10 trap resist, 40, 25, and 10. I think we have a guinea pig. And I almost clicked on the starve button. That would have been really bad. And there's no fight there, and there's no fight there. So this room next here could be our last fight. That's it. Light resistance. 60. 40. Let's go for this. And you failed. Of course you did. Blighted for fat. Let's use an antivenom. And another torch. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. I want to touch. Damn it. Yeah, yes. Oh, six meat. We have a lot of food. Let's this person eat a whole stack. Okay. Almost a whole stack, and the other one can eat the rest. Got a lot of health, and we can kill this person, people. Or, I don't know if we should call them people, because they're clearly not people. But they should die nonetheless. Blight them both, and one died, and the other was blighted. Great! Can I kill one? Probably not, but maybe. Yeah, I killed one. Great job, Vestal. I really like your work today. You need a promotion. A trifling victory. Open my chest. But a victory nonetheless. And I got some food and some things. Go here. Enter the pack. pack <clears throat> Go back. Are often low on supplies. Oh. We're not, this is not the last fight. For some reason I thought it was. But we need to go up. Up, up, up. I know there's one fight here. And we should be able to make it. Oh, it's a nasty one. But we're surprised. This might be good for us. We might win this battle without losing any of our soldiers. Maybe a stun here. Stun the filthy bastard. We failed. Should I blight them or stun them? I f f blight is a 15% chance to hit, but it deals a bit of damage. I think I should splight. Stun, blight. Stun the person in the back and shuffle one back. I don't know if they can attack from a third position. Hopefully they can't. I think they can't, but I might be wrong. And it moves back. Crap! Blight, one of. Blight? Why do I say blight? I mean stun. Let's try and stun one of them. The one with the most health, maybe? I don't know. It would probably have been better to try and stun the other one. Because I might actually have killed it. Or killed it? Why? Stunned it! And now I actually will use a blight here on both of them. 
because I killed this when I'm in front. And I actually blinded the second one. So I only need to deal four damage to it now. Or one damage to it now for it to die. And that's really good actually. I really like that. Let's say you have acted, you have acted. They have the same speed. Hmm. Go for this person. Person? It's a thing. It's not a person, it's a fungus. Let's try and stun it. Good stun. And now this one. And killed the last one and the second one. Great job. This battle went really good. Remind Holy water. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Early mustache. <coughs> we got another scouting. And we know we have enemies in the next room. Let's prepare for them. Yeah, you open that at least. Finding the stuff is only Nothing the bad. Test. Now it must be carried home. And I will save 8 food for a camp after this fight, but I could eat the rest now. Like that, and I need could use a little bit of light. Let's go in. Victory. Oh, one of those big crappy things, but very surprised, that's good. Could I stun or shuffle them? Stun resist. The stun resist on this guy is lower. I want to shuffle them, so the left one is first. Good. I don't know really why I want to do that, but I did. I think I should focus on the big one because usually I've noticed in this game or in this mod that if you kill the small ones first, the big ones. What am I talking about? If you kill the small ones first, the big ones become a lot more dangerous. And I wouldn't like that. Blight them both, please. And the big one is blighted. Great job! I didn't think you had it in you, but you clearly did. Try and stun here. It's a 4% chance. And it failed, but a failure might be a success in somebody's book. At least we probably won't get a lot of stress from this fight. And I will definitely use this because it has higher crit chance against blighted people. So it have a higher crit chance than the other attack. And it probably created another one, yeah. Very mean like that. Stun the first one, that's nasty. And blighted that one. I'm really lucky with the blights. Hopefully I get a crit, and I didn't. Stupid bounty hunter, you should start critting more often. It's an order from your boss. Light 14, 3. And he has a stun buff. That thing has 3 life lo health left. And the other one is more or less healthy. So we should just focus on the big one. Because... The other one is dead in one turn. I should have used Father Attack, but I'm not really focusing right now because I've won this fight already. I don't think he can win in any way, shape or form. And maybe even get a Blight again. There's like a very low chance that I will actually succeed with a Blight and I succeed like every time. And we wicked one. I almost say the we victorious. As victories mount, and we so victorious is. Resistance. I think it's bad grammar. A torch, maybe? I think a torch would be good here. No? They should make a torch be good in this situation. Ah, take a look. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. So a lot. Paid for in blood. Hi! Where's that person? I can't see her. I can't see her. You're invisible. Okay, can I do anything good here? All companions heal, reduce stress. That's good. Let's use it. 
Let's do some stress. Let's do some stress here. Could be good. To remove your own little bit of stress. Hopefully you're rel religious. So you should go down by 15 or... All companions. Don't you count yourself as a companion? Seems not. The agents of That's weird. Will yet be driven and here we got a trinket. For grave robbers, increased stun chance and bonnet chance. Minus move resist. And we got 10,000 gold. That's a lot. And our people have almost no stress. So that's great. Oh, that's good. Stress resist when light is above 75. It's really good, actually. Hard noggin, stun, stun resist. That's good as well. And he's level 2. And Slayer of Mankind. Not the best for a vessel, but it's still a good a thing to have. Name once so well regarded. Any good trinkets? Whispered aloud by decent no. Folk. And no. I don't like either of those trinkets. Any good soldiers? Let's see here. Any changes? No. I want to look at the Jester. I think the Jester has chance. Self. Monster bleed damage. Bleeding. Plus, okay, so it deals more damage to bleeding enemies. A lot more damage. Bleed. Okay, this is a lot, a lot of things. More damage on poison and bleeding. And that was 300% stun base on yourself. Oh, tar target. Self. So is that really, really good? Target minus 20% minus 20% damage, minus 30% dodge, minus 20% accuracy on the target. Stun base 300%, so it will always stun the enemy as well. And self, monster bleeding, plus 6% damage, monster stunned. So... That's a super overpowered attack, or something. I don't see anything bad with it, but I'm probably wrong. Free bleed, mm. accuracy, stress, okay. Let's see, anything here? Crit mod and super high accuracy. Damage mod. Launch, yeah, that's probably nothing new. Oh, poison monster, that's new, I think. Flashing daggers? Bleed, that's added. I liked flashing daggers before, so... It's not bad. Stun and self-dodge, yeah. Nothing new. And self-crit chance! That's new. If that's a crit chance buff, at least. I think it is. It's really good. I think it's good that we changed out the accuracy. Because she, don't, she doesn't need more accuracy when her base accuracy is like 90% or 90% 90 might buy one of those blade target a monster plus 12 that's good knockback 3 okay that's interesting probably some kind of nerf stun base 70% to your list of ones okay so it stuns people that's new, I think. Don't remember. But that's all the new things for that. Let's see. We can do the Necromancer Apprentice next time. Can we get some nice trinkets? One trinket here. Stress resist and minus damage. Not really that nice. So if you like what you and have any suggestions on how I should upgrade my people or anything, leave a comment down below. If you like what you like it, if you want to see more, we do like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.